Time to pop a banana milk. Banana milk made pink go away. Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Rome and welcome to Serious Slumber Sessions on Sundays with Stephanie. You're probably like, what the fuck is this name? Well, I'm thinking the same thing and to be honest, the name is probably gonna change a couple of times. It's hard to talk about this because in society I feel like there's such a big separation um, when we talk about things that are actually really important. For instance, if we talk about bullying, if we talk about mental illness, a lot of things aren't accepted. Diversity is slowly coming into the picture, but I feel like it's very important to express and understand or try to understand different perspectives. That's all I'm about. I feel like in my friend group or also in my family, I'm the person who tries to see everybody's perspective before coming to a conclusion. For instance, when two people fight. All I want to do on this series is basically talk about different topics that in society aren't talked about enough or where I feel like there's still such a big separation where I just want to share my experience with certain topics or express my opinion so maybe it can help one of you or it will give you an idea how to handle a situation differently or you just want to watch the video because it's chill. Lay down, get a banana milk. Banana milk make pain go away. I just want to give a disclaimer and a trigger warning that if you're triggered by anything that you see in the title any word that you see in the title please do not watch this video and if you feel confused by anything I talk about in this video even the slightest thing please DM me I also want to make a quick disclaimer I'm not an expert this is just my opinion and I think let's just get into the video this video is about how to be confident how to be a bad bitch how to deal with insecurities body image and body positivity obviously I will not be able to talk about all of the topics in a lot of detail so I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and basically I asked which topic you want to hear first and thank you to everybody who sent in topics they will all be covered at some point and I'm not pretending like a hundred people sent in topics I'm happy that 30 people sent in questions or topics that I can talk about and this was the most frequently coming up. The first thing I think that's really important to understand is that confidence comes from within. I don't think anybody can necessarily teach you confidence. For instance, I can hype you up as much as I want to. I can tell you 60 times, you're the most beautiful person, you're good at this, you're amazing at this, blah, 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 on and on and on. But at the end of the day, you may not believe what I say to you. And at the end of the day, confidence comes from within. Feeling good about yourself comes from within. I feel like a lot of people mix up confidence with reassurance. Just because I reassure you doesn't mean that you necessarily feel confident. I feel like confidence also has a lot to do with the way you grow up. I feel like everything has a lot to do with the way you grow up. The way we talk, the way we express ourselves, the way we perceive the world, whatever we are, a lot of it is influenced by the way we grow up. For instance, parents get a little baby. Your instinct as a parent, I think, is to make it happy. And often what parents then do is from a small age on, they tell this child they're the best, they're the most beautiful, they're the best at soccer, they're the best at this, 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 on and on and on. And that's something natural parents do and that's really sometimes how they perceive it because when you have a child, obviously that's also what I would think, you see this little baby and it's just the most precious thing you ever had. At some point, this little precious child grows up and it gets into school. It experiences dating. It experiences comparison. And this kid slowly realizes that the world doesn't evolve around it. This is only the way I see it. So I, from my parents, of course, when I was younger, also heard oh you're the best at this best at this they also at some point made it very clear to me as I for instance came crying home with a bad grade or when I cried because this boy didn't like me my dad made it pretty clear to me that there will always be somebody better than you and that comparison is the devil and this is the truth mentally it kills people because the moment you compare yourself to somebody else that's putting them on a pedestal and you at the bottom for instance if I see a girl on Instagram I may say whoa she's so pretty I could never even I don't even look like her. I could never look like her. That's automatically putting me down and putting her up, which that's not bad. She's up there, but so are you. So is Max that's yeah. sitting back here. So is Rudolph. Everybody's up there. You can hype up everybody. The problem lies within that you drag yourself down by comparing yourself to other people. I would say I am a confident person, but there's also some moments where I'm like, oh shit, I'm not confident today. Like I'm bloated or I don't look that good today. And all I can tell you in those days where you, for instance, 
instance, you compare yourself to other people or you see this model on Instagram and you're like, wow, like I wanna look like her. If you're a girl or a guy, whatever gender you associate with, excuse me, I don't know why you're intruding in my TED talk. Things like this happen and people compare themselves. A lot of people aren't confident because they compare themselves always to other people. But what one of my idols always says, you're rare. And I think she's right when she says that word eliminates comparison. You were born to be you. And that's something you need to realize. That it doesn't matter how you look like. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. Confidence comes from within. And if you think that you're the best version of yourself, then that's what you're gonna portray out. People are gonna see you that way. And you automatically see yourself that way. Because the whole point I feel like about confidence is that the moment you think or you know that you're the best version of yourself, you're automatically on a level of confidence that's good. Comparison will always come into your life. You'll always figure out that you're gonna compare yourself to somebody. If it's looks, if it's success, if it's money, if it's the house, it's natural for people to compare themselves to other people. I, for instance, go into a friend's home and I'm like, whoa, this freaking sofa that they have is way better than my sofa. But that friend may come into my house and say, whoa, you have the coolest blankets I've ever seen. I'm not saying that anybody ever said that because I don't like my blankets. Getting to the point of how to be confident. I think the key to becoming confident is becoming the best version of yourself. Whatever that implies. You need to feel comfortable in your skin. You need to be happy with your life. And I personally feel like if you're the best version of yourself and you think, you know what, I look good, I feel good, I'm doing good and I'm happy, that's the best thing that can happen to you. For instance, for me to feel confident, I like to feel comfortable. I like to work out. I like to eat good. I also like to eat healthy sometimes. I just know I'm a fucking bad bitch and nobody can take that away from me because you know what? That's just how I am. And even though you're watching this video and you're probably like, I didn't gather anything on how to be confident, we're gonna get there. Every single video that I make hopefully will make you realize that you're not only rare and special, but that every person struggles. If you feel like a bad bitch you portray it out to the world that you're a bad bitch next question how to deal with insecurities I myself struggle with this a lot I'm gonna say it right now I'm really insecure about my arms I feel like my arms look way too big they don't fit to my body type and I just hate them okay that was always the case I hated my arms since I was very young and realized how my body started changing I don't like them you rarely see me wear t-shirts I I'm not gonna wear a t-shirt. First of all, I think that everybody has insecurities. I actually asked my friends, I was like, yo, what are your insecurities actually? Because I told them I'm making this video. And they said things which I would never in a million years think that they would be insecure about. Some insecurities will never change. Because even, let's say, if your insecurity is your weight, even if you lose 10 kilos, that insecurity is kind of in the back of your head. Even if you lose those 10 kilos, you may, if you look into the mirror, still see yourself the same. This is actually called body dysmorphia. Everybody deals with insecurities in their own way. I personally like to talk with my friends about it. For some people, the right thing is to share your insecurities. And for some people, the right thing is to keep it to themselves. However you deal with it. This is how I deal with insecurities. I like to get in a comfortable position. For instance, I like to get into bed and cuddle up with Rudolph. Or I like to put on something comfortable like a hoodie. The best thing I can tell you about how to deal with insecurities is that you shouldn't look at your body and only see how it looks but you should look at your body and see what it does. Listen to that again. You shouldn't look at your body for the way that it looks, but you should look at your body for the way what it does. Your body is fucking crazy. Do you know that? It allows you to think, it allows you to breathe, it allows you to move, it allows you to live. Everything that's in here makes me be able to live. And often when I'm bloated in the morning, I'm like, you know what, that's fine. Because these organs in here, they can relax and they can let themselves go a little bit because they're working really hard. That's how I see it. When I catch myself falling for my insecurities, I give myself a moment to sit down, take a couple of breaths and realize what my body actually does for me every single day. And in my case, the insecurity is just whoosh away. Because for me, it's a waste of my time to deal with insecurities. And I get them weekly, maybe daily sometimes, but I really try to concentrate, sit down and realize what my body is able to do. And you know what? If I have a couple of grams of fat here, that's fine. I'm gonna give that to my body. Just try to feel as good as possible in yourself. If that is by working out, by eating healthy, by maybe going to McDonald's six times a day, whatever it is, try to feel good with yourself. Try to be happy and comfortable 
comfortable. I really am a big believer that if you are in a comfortable environment, if you feel comfortable, it's gonna be easier for you to be happier. That's how I see it. What I also think is really important to understand is that confidence or dealing with insecurities or body dysmorphia or body positivity, changing the way you view your body image won't just change overnight. It's a process. It's a very long and hard process to accept your body to become the best version of yourself. It's not just gonna go from one to the other day. You yourself are the biggest project you're ever gonna work on. So you better make it the best project you've ever had. That's something I heard a couple of weeks ago, which is true. You're the biggest project you will ever have to work on. And it's a long and hard process to become the best version of yourself, to feel comfortable, to be happy and to not be insecure. There's always gonna be moments where you're insecure. There's always gonna be moments of self-doubt. It's completely okay to have down days. It's completely okay to be bloated. It's completely okay. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is comparison. Comparison is the fucking devil and you're not gonna be happy if you compare yourself all the time. Again, whatever gender you associate yourself with, you compare yourself to other people. It doesn't matter what or who you are. You don't need to have a fucking six pack for somebody to like you. You don't need to have a big ass for somebody to like you or big tits or big lips. You just need to be yourself. One thing I always hear is that I have to look this way for people to like me and that's the biggest bullshit I've ever heard you need to be yourself and the person that's right for you or the people that are right for you will come to you we as teenagers and not only we as teenagers but I feel like we compare ourselves much more because of social media and social media has so many positives it really does but comparison is one thing that really fucks with people's minds and also one really negative aspect of social media because comparison now is way more available because of Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, whatever. You see so many people from so many different parts of the world where you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. People that judge a book by its cover, you can drop them fucking immediately. We don't need those negative people in our lives. If somebody truly loves you and truly, truly vibes with you, they wouldn't drag you down based on looks because that's very poor. That's very poor of people to do. If people come to you and they're like, you're ugly, good. If you think I'm ugly from the outside, you're ugly on the inside and that's something you can't change. The last thing I want to say is confidence and beauty comes from within in my opinion. And this is not like me saying, oh, beauty comes from within. No, truly, I personally only find people attractive and this is not even a freaking joke. A person is only attractive to me or I only vibe with the person if I know their character. I don't care if you're a Victoria's Secret model from the outside. If your personality doesn't match, it just won't work. That's just how it is. In conclusion, what I want to say is if somebody tells you you're you're not enough, you're ugly, or you're worthless. I mean, first of all, I'm speechless, which by the way, I've heard. I've heard that about myself. People have said this to my face already. I know how much this hurts, but let me just tell you something. Being ugly on the outside, that's first of all, a form of perception, and second of all, changeable. Being ugly on the inside, honey, that's not changeable. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Confidence comes from within. And if you feel good, if you do your best to be happy and comfortable, and maybe sometimes take the time to really realize, you know what, I'm gonna take a couple of deep breaths in. This is not the most important thing, and I'm gonna work on it, and I know this is a process. Loving myself is a long and hard process. And you give your best, that's all you can do. And at some point, and I really believe in it, if you work hard for something every single day, you're gonna achieve it. And confidence is is a long process loving yourself and accepting yourself is a long process this series is a process for me too I'm gonna try to express my feelings and I'm gonna try to make them as easy understandable as possible just stay calm with me please banana milk make pain go away so all I want to say is if you're watching this video that's the first step to becoming a bad bitch you're beautiful in your own way if you work hard every single day to become the best version of yourself. At some point, in my opinion, confidence, even if it's just a little bit, will come naturally. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what topic I should talk about next. And I'll see you guys next time with a new video. Bye! Mwah! This video is 45 minutes long and I already hate my life editing this tomorrow.